welcome everybody, and thank you so much for coming. My name is Jay Bates, and I'm a senior at Hopkins High School. I'm here as a student leader, and I'm here as a surviving victim of bullying. Growing up as an LGBT student has been hard. I've received bullying through verbal threats, rumor mills, and cyberbullying. In junior high, I always saw that adults really wanted to help me, and they did try to help me to the best of their ability. But due to a lack of definition and safe, and due to a lack of definition and common safety standards, they couldn't always help me. I was a student advocate. Kids and even fam e kids and even families come to me for help because they aren't sure where else to find it. I think that's one of the most unfortunate parts of what I do. That my roles in the community exist because kids don't feel safe going to adults in their school. I graduate this year, and I don't want to just say, good luck and God help you. I want to leave a legacy of safety for all students behind, knowing that all students who come after me will be able to function in a positive and safe environment, no matter where they live or where they attend school. Make some noise if you're here for a disability group. Make some noise if you're here because you've been affected by bullying. Let me start by introducing my Senate colleagues who are here. We have State Senator Susan Ken, 
Representative Jim Dam. Now I want to introduce a couple of my colleagues who are here. They're not the only ones who stepped up to lead, but Representative Tim Faust. So, thank you for coming to the Capitol today. This is your house. And this is exactly how democracy should work. People coming together to solve problems so we can all have a chance to live better lives. Free from discrimination, free from fear, making sure that we all have fair access to education and all the opportunities that come with that. Look at all of you here today, young people standing at the forefront of this movement for change, identifying a problem and saying, guess what state representatives, guess what senators, we want you to stand up for us and solve this problem because this matters in our lives. And we have a governor who's helping lead this way. Unlike a few years ago, he has provided the fullness of his voice and the leadership of his office. We are gonna do this this year. Thank you so much. stepping up to make this change. In this country, we are all equal, regardless of the circumstance of our birth. It's really just that simple. Students and their parents and their teachers are saying, all kids deserve to be safe and supported, so they don't have to choose on a daily basis. Do I go to school or do, do I stay home and be safe today? Every student in every corner of this state deserves the same thing. We need clear definitions to know what we're talking about. We need protections for all students, training and resources for the adults in the buildings, guidelines for best practices, and help for schools. But really, I'm just here to say thank you. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your dignity. Thank you for your willingness to claim your power. And thank you for speaking out where others may not be able to. They feel silenced, but you're here to speak for them. And what you do here today and what we're gonna do this year, certainly you do for yourselves. But you also do it to honor the lives of those who pass before us who struggle. And we do it to make sure that those who follow us themselves can grow up in the knowledge that they are loved, that they are all right, that they have a right to learn and pursue their dreams. That is something to be very proud of. That is a legacy that you're gonna leave. So have a fantastic rally. But know this, this rally is for us, to gather our steam, to gather our energy. But you have to go out from this rally, into the other parts of this building, into the offices across the street, and talk directly with your elected representatives. It's the only way democracy functions effectively. Notice, there are not a whole lot of legislators, we're very busy, we're in our offices, we're in committee, go talk to them. You might not be old enough yet to vote, it doesn't matter, you are still a citizen of this country, you are still a student in our schools, and we are here to represent you and represent your dreams and your aspirations. I have heard a tap on my back. State Senator Alice Johnson has joined us as well. Another great <laughs> representative. So thank you very much. And I have to tell you, this man has been with us a lot of step, an amazing champion who has been carrying this legislation on the House side with incredible diligence and incredible success. We're going to do this in the House, too. State Representative Jim Dabney. And I want to rec also recognize Representative Seltzer has joined us. She's another one of the leaders for us. It's not often that we fill the rotunda of this capital the way you have today. And it's even less often that it's the youth of Minnesota standing up, coming to their state capital. And 
That's for Senator Dibble, the other senators and legislators, myself, and the broad and growing coalition of groups who have been working on this. That's not your job, that's Your job is to reach inside and talk directly and clearly and honestly with the legislators about your world, about your experience, about your wanting to bring an end to bullying and build safe and supportive school climates so everybody can learn, more kids can graduate, you can reach your dreams and you can prepare to take your place as adults in our society and in this capital. If you're able, I want you to take a moment and touch on the challenges and the pain that have brought too many of you here. But as much as we need legislators to hear about that, we also need them to hear about what your hopes are for yourselves, for your younger siblings, for younger children, even not yet in school, and how you want them to have a school that embraces all of those children and all of their families. Because you know what? You're too important, each and every one of you, to set any of you aside, to let any of you fall beside or behind. Each and every one of you is our responsibility as adults to see, to embrace, to support, and to help grow and develop. You're too important. You're the next generation that we're counting on and we need you to take the step today. The adults have been talking about the bill for a year. We need the youth to carry us across the line. Can you do that? You are inspiring in being here today. I want to thank two more of my colleagues who've joined us, Senator John Marty and Senator Patina Sliatora. Small kids at school. 
These two experiences have shaped my thoughts on bullying, and it is why I believe that we need this bill to be passed. I love having the ability to go to a school where I currently feel comfortable, and I believe that every student in this great state should have that opportunity as well.
make a scene. Ain't gonna patiently wait for my pain to bury me. Ain't gonna wait for all this energy chasing popularity or prosperity. I'd rather stand tall in solidarity with everyone we've lost because they're never lost. And everyone in y'all who stays forever strong. And we'll build bass lines out of thunder, rap to the rhythm of the rain, and dance on the little bit of space that we have and build something lasting as this empire is collapsing. And when they ask me to come along quietly, I'll say, how can I quit? I got lightning inside of me.
My name is Hunter Sargent. I have fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. This creates challenges for me in learning, health, controlling my impulses and emotions. Today I have a great system of support that helps me live in the community. In a great life, in a great life, love me. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, when, when I was in school, I wasn't so lucky. I was a target of bullying because of my disability. In middle school, one student sought me out and hit me before school, during lunch, and after school. One time, he punched me in the face and, and made my nose bleed. Later, a doctor told me that, that I had broken my nose sometime in the past. I'm pretty sure the student caused this. The bullying hurt then. I still feel the hurt today. I support the Safe and Supportive Schools Act because I don't want kids today to get their nose broken like I did. Um, um, thanks. Um, this can cut down their hopes and dreams. They need help to stop bullying from happening and dealing with it when it does. Let's give our educators, our parents, and students the tools they need. Let's tell our state legislators, our state senators, um, to say yes to the Safe and Supportive Schools Act. Thank you.
the safe and supportive, the, the safe schools for all coalition because of organizations like Out From Minnesota who work for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender equality are involved in the coalition. But our coalition and Out From Minnesota is working to pass this bill because we believe all students deserve a safe learning environment. representing tens of thousands of Minnesotans who want to see strong anti-bullying legislation happen this year. Our coalition knows that when one student is bullied, the climate of fear sets in if it's not addressed. The anti-bullying law is what we need to make, our, to make our schools safer for all students. And so I want to thank you for being here, for being such courageous champions for justice. If you do not have a, an appointment with your legislator and you would like one, we have tables back there where you can talk to people about getting those set up. And then I want to ask the, your, your fabulous MCs to join me back on stage, Christina and Jay, and we're going to lead us out with a chant. So everyone who has the power to help us is in this building right now. There are legislators, our senators, our representatives, and we need to let them hear that we're in here right now and that we want change. So we're going to start a chant, and I think all of you must be familiar with this. We're just going to do the, what do we want, say school.